Well, here we are, the weekly Facebook Q&A, and thanks to you guys that post your questions on the Facebook page of OTRS Central. Hopefully these questions are good. Let's see how many of them I can get through. Javi VD asked, is John Cena's reason for not wanting to have children that he's afraid someone might bury him in the future? <laughs> maybe. Maybe he also doesn't want to because he's been frustrated because after so many years, he doesn't understand how babies don't come after he sits there and finishes in boys' buttholes. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> not baby, but it is. Death's going to come knocking for John Cena, and he's going to kick out it too and put it in the SDF. Joseph hum Humphrey, with all the sisters you've been with, would you say Smokey is still your favorite black pussy? <laughs> oh, Smokey. What can you say? Yeah, he was something else, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I love that cat. I miss that cat. I miss miss all of them for sure. Um, he was badass, so he was a beast in and of himself. I think our, I think this channel misses him quite a bit too, because it just hasn't been the same since he passed in October 2013. It really hasn't. If you go back and watch. The level of engagement by me and the channel has decreased. The level of interesting uh, videos has decreased. Uh, you know, it's just, yeah, it hasn't been the same, that's for sure. I miss that damn cat. I know some of y'all do too. He was a lot of fun. Uh, Brandon Akins, why won't WWE stop facting to the idea of Miz versus Ryback versus the big show? God only fucking knows. Somebody save me from that abomination. James Fields, besides Chicago teams, who are your favorite and least favorite sports franchises? Um, favorite college football team has been Notre Dame for years. I mean, I'm kind of, you know, somewhat engaged in Notre Dame football, but not fully, in part because for so many years I've had to work on Saturdays. So it's really hard to be a college football fan if you're always working during college football Saturday. Uh, you know, Used to be a huge fan of Illini basketball. Not so much now. Just lost interest in college basketball in general. So um, that would be to be your answers. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, Robert Endurance Duran. How do you think the heaven match between Hot Rod and the American Dream will play out? Would there be a special referee? If so, who? Um, who would be the special referee? I think there has to be a special referee. I don't know who the special referee is. I know who would do the run-in, though. RoboCop. RoboCop. Because that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Shay Delane. Would the original NWO worked without the Outsiders, and who could have taken their place had they not left? Uh, the NWO had to work with Paul Nash and Hogan. It's one of those things where you can sit there and look back and try to tinker, but any tinkering you do affects the chemistry, affects the formula, and it negatively impacts it. Now, it had to be Paul and Nash as the outsiders. They had to be it because otherwise the whole premise of the story doesn't work to begin with. Chris Young, if you could bring back one wrestler who's passed on and put them on the active roster, who would you choose? Uh, the Macho Man. The Macho Man, Randy Savage, beyond question. Anakin Skywalker, which WWE do you find the most attractive? Um, I think Sasha Banks is the hottest female wrestler on the roster. Uh, Eden, Cody Rhodes' his wife. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be the hottest. I don't think, to me, to me. Again, I understand. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I think it's Eden. I don't think it's close. I don't. I really don't. Trevor Clark. Since, sorry, Naomi. Sorry, Alicia Fox. Sorry. It's just how I see it. Trevor Clark says, WWE has given Triple H and John Cena the world title practically more times than any person in creation. Do you believe that their title reigns me as much in comparison to the times of an Austin Rock or when Taker held the belt? Mm, Taker never really had long title reigns. I don't, even, I don't ever think he was really a great world champion. Uh, but when you're talking about Austin and Rock, I mean, they never had super lengthy title reigns, you know, but they were also the world champ 
at in incredibly hot times. And part of the reason the product was so hot was because they were the champion. Yeah, I don't think you could ever say that about Cena. There are points in time where you can say that about Triple H. But the problem is Triple H always had somebody like The Rock to feud with. Um, so no, even though you're talking about length of total title reigns and number of title reigns, I don't think they measure up as champions compared to Austin The Rock. I really don't. All right, let's see. And do you think the amount of times Triple H and Cena won the world title devalued the belt? There's so many fucking things else that devalued those titles um, that I don't think them winning it that many times does. Peter Gunn, who should have been the first to be initiated or inducted into the TNA Hall of Fame? I personally would have loved to have seen it been AJ Styles. It's just me. From a, a seriousness standpoint, you could have went with... Uh, Jeff Jarrett because he was the founder and everything else. And yeah, it would have given me a lot of material and great material at that. You guys would have enjoyed it. At the end of the day, it would have made sense. Um, I, I I would have liked to have seen AJ Styles myself. Uh, Nick Anderson, do you think Eli Manning is a good pro comparison for Jameis Winston? Somewhat, yes. My comparison was Blake Bortles, but I could see some of the Eli Manning comparisons. I really could. Michael Williamson said, Cena has won the U.S. championship. The prestige of the title has gone up massively. Do you think putting the IC championship on someone of a similar star level, such as a Randy Orton, could bring prestige to the title? No. You can't even compare. WWE doesn't treat Orton in nearly the fashion they do Cena and Orton. It's a part of the fucking breakfast club. The only way they could elevate the profile of that IC title at this point in time would be to put it around Triple H's waist. Or just merge it with Cena's U.S. title and just name it the John Cena Championship. Um, you know, so. Unfortunately, as is so often the case, they elevate the profile of one belt and can't maintain the profile of the other belt, so they have to devalue the fucking world title of all things. Ryan Wojcik, do you think Dean Ambrose will ever be booked to his full potential and win the WWE title going on to have a good reign at least once? No, I don't. I really, really don't. I think when they finally make Ambrose a champ is when they turn him heel. This should be dumb. Nick Perkins, what are the possibilities that Seth Rollins walks out dual champion at SummerSlam? Um, never say never, but it's pretty close to that's not going to happen. Jeff Kyles, have you ever been to any WWE shows live? Yes, I have. Um, I think the last time I honestly went was back in like 2002, so it's been it's been some time. Uh, let's see here. Martin James, Mario or Sonic? No offense to Sonic, but I grew up first on Mario, so I got to go with Mario. Uh, Chris William, where do you see professional wrestling in 10 years' time? Probably even in an even worse place than it is right now. It ain't good now. Boring as piss now. I can only imagine how shitty it's going to be in 10 years from now. I can only imagine how horrible my perspective is going to be if I'm still even watching this crap 10 years from now when I'm 44 as opposed to 34. Zeon Hunt, if Chris Benoit made a surprise return, would he get an overwhelming chill reaction or an overwhelming boo reaction? Depends on where it was at, probably. Um, I mean, next question. <laughs> Uh, Jose Gonzalez, which division has improved the most, the Divas or the tag teams? I mean, in terms of influx of talent, Divas division, but neither one of them's improved. It's still ultimately the same fundamental shit. And then he also asks, who has the better season, Jameis Winston or Cam Newton? Cam Newton, because the Panthers have a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Cam Newton's going to have the better season than a rookie out of Florida State who loves to throw interceptions. Tony Bunny. What will come of Bernard and Hill on the Bengals? Can they play in tandem, or does one need to move on uh, for them both to fulfill their full potential? I think both of them can play together. I think both of them should play together. Uh, I really like the tandem of them. Maybe utilizing Geo a little bit more as a pass catcher, a little bit less as a runner. That way you're devoting the lion's share of the carries to Jeremy Hill. Um, but... That's going to be one of the real strengths of this Bengals team in 2015 if both guys stay healthy is that they will have a really, really good running game. You know, the type of running game that you can win a championship with. Now, no, I said the type of running game that you win a championship with. You can't win a championship with their quarterback and their lack of pass rush, in my opinion. Uh, Jared Kadori, what are your thoughts on the recent Iran nuclear arms deal? Um...
I I I gotta be completely honest. I actually would need to look more into it in terms of what actually was done, what actually was accomplished, what actually was conceded by one or both sides. Um, I like the fact that our country is in dialogue with Iran. I, I do, because we have to get out of this old way of thinking. We've got to sit there and get past those grudges of the past. I don't understand how we could sit there and have warm and fuzzy relations with Vietnam where you know 60,000 of our soldiers died in a pointless war in the 60s and 70s, and we could sit there and send manufacturing jobs over there and so on and so forth, but yet... You know, Iran holds a few hostages for a year, and 35 years later, we're still holding a fucking grudge against them. I mean, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but I like the fact that there's dialogue, because um, that's the only way things are going to get better. Can't sit there and get better and then never talk to the sides. Patrick Small, how well do you think Jay Lethal could do in WWE if given a real opportunity? Uh, look at his pigment and get back to me. Mario, the King of Hearts, El Sime. How do you think WWE will fill four hours of SummerSlam when they only have four announced matches on the card? Uh, they don't fucking know, so I don't fucking know. And when they figure it out, it'll be Sunday afternoon. Imagine that. Four hours. Four fucking hours. Oh, God. That's going to be a long night. Joe Novak, do you think it would be great or good idea to air the old pay-per-views from the 80s on Mondays instead of Raw? I don't know about that. How about they just make Raw better? Sean Anderson, what match should close SummerSlam? Oh, oh, that was a serious question. Yeah, there's only one. It has to be Lesnar Taker. I mean... Especially if you're going to have Cena beat Rollins for the title. Ooh, I don't know if you want to main event that. You're building the show around Taker Lesnar. That has to be the main event. Uh, Terrence Young, when should Samoa Joe debut on Raw? How about the night after the Royal Rumble in 2016? Andy Nielsen, is being a good talker becoming a lost art now that Roddy and Dusty are gone? Oh, it was a lost art while they were still alive. Yes, it's become a very, very lost art. In today's overly scripted, overly choreographed, and planned out wrestling business, yeah, it, becoming a really good talker is a very lost art indeed. Um, let's see here. Ryan Gorman, is it the fans' fault Roman Reigns is still so far from the WWE title picture? Um, no. How about WWE books him better? How about Roman Reigns gets better? then maybe the fans get more behind him. I'm not going to blame the fans for that shit. Because if the WWE really wanted to, they'd make him the champ regardless of what the fans fucking say. So what difference does it make there? Philip Bray Wilson, do you ever feel like you just don't care about the product anymore? Every time I get emotionally invested in a wrestler, say Owens, the WWE just pulls the rug out from under them. What's the point in caring? Ding, 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 ding! What's the fucking point in caring? It legitimately is, why even fucking bother anymore? It really is. Why even sit there and get behind anybody? They're just always going to lose to Cena. Paul O'Grady, who's realistically going to hold the top spot when Cena calls time on his career? When John Cena retires, it will be this new face on the scene, Juan Cena, who will go on to be a 15-time world champion himself. Michael Cohen, what did you think about the hardcore 24-7 rule? Loved it. Loved it. That was a third, fourth level important spelt anyways. So it was something that you could use to fill time on a show, but give it a story. I love that hardcore 24-7 rule. I wish they would bring the 24-7 rule back for the IC or US title. Michael Harvey, if you had a child who wanted to enter the wrestling business, would you let him or not? Ultimately, it's their choice. It's their decision. I mean, on the one hand, if that's their dream... I love that they pursued their dream, and I most certainly am not going to stop them, and I most certainly would not discourage them. I would encourage them. If they had the courage to go chase their dream, I'm going to be all about that and do whatever I can to help them chase that dream. I just wish that they wouldn't and choose another form of uh, way to make a living. Lorenzo Paul IV, do you think John Cena will defeat Seth Rollins at SummerSlam? Probably. 
Base side, what are your thoughts on Ultimate Lucha? Is that Lucha Underground? I'm assuming that's Lucha Underground. I love the presentation. I love what they're going for. I wish I got the El Rey Network. And no, I don't feel like I should have to go out there and go looking for it. Lucha Underground wants me. And again, if we're talking about Lucha Underground here, Lucha Underground wants me to watch. They need to give me a platform where I can watch it on the Schleg Daddy 6000 television. In my living room, not on my freaking stupid laptop. David Hadley, how long do you give the Divas Revolution before Vince McMahon and Creative get bored with it and it fizzles out? Two months. Two months. Let's see here. Any other good questions? No. Or if they are, I'm just fucking bored. Yeah, I am just bored. Sorry, I'm kind of in a bored mood today when it comes to talking about pro wrestling. It's just, shit's boring. It's hard to dress it up and make it good and make it sound interesting and hard to be interesting when talking about it. If you guys could do me one thing, next week when we do these Q&As, both the Twitter and Facebook Q&As, try to think a little outside of the box and try to do... Try to do some different types of questions, not the same kind of standard answers. Try to have some fun with it. Let's have a sense of humor about this. You know, let's 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 shake it up a little bit because, it, it, frankly, it's easy to come on here and do these Q and A's, but a lot of these questions can tend to get a bit repetitive. And I know you guys have to be bored with the pro wrestling business right now because I most certainly fucking am. So let's try try to make this channel a reflection of the boredom of the professional wrestling business today.